So today I'm going to uh, talk about Pertursec. I need to go through the disclosure slide, and I have to spell out that an employee is selected. And now let's just dive in in Pertursec. So Pertursec, what it is? Pertursec is a technology that allows the discovery of a transcriptional response to specific uh, genetic and epigenetic uh, perturbations and importantly uh, allows that to do it in a, uh, a mass. Uh, so multiple hundreds or, or thousands of uh, specific uh, uh, independent genomic perturbations can be uh, assessed for their uh, uh, effect on, uh, on, on, on the cell transcriptome. Uh, Pertusac is a very cool technology but it, is, it can also get very expensive. And so there, there are uh, uh, some parameters that need to be optimized so that you get good data and, and, and you don't break the bank. But first of all, let's go uh, through uh, like the steps and how this technology works. Let's say that the, uh, you introduce this genomic perturbation by uh, CRISPR knockout. So, and you can do it in a pool fashion. So you uh, transduce uh, uh, your, your Cas9 cells with a, with a library of uh, sgRNAs. Each sgRNA targets a different gene and it goes into a different cells. At this point, you, uh, with the uh, chromium tenex system, you can encapsulate uh, single cells and single beads in, in uh, distinct droplets. These beads uh, uh, carry uh, primers for cDNA synthesis, and these primers, each bead has a different uh, uh, barcode on the primers. So, uh, and everything, can, uh, all the RNAs from, 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 from each single cell are going to be returned transcribed and barcoded with a uh, now cell specific barcode. All the RNAs, so, including, so that includes the sgRNAs. At this point, when you then build the, uh, each cell transcriptome, uh, you can link uh, like all the mRNAs from a cell to the sgRNA that were expressed in the cells because they express the same barcode. So at RNA, RNA six step, uh, well, uh, you can then uh, like uh, assign uh, to each sgRNA its own specific uh, uh, transcriptome. Now, let's uh, uh, s uh, look at the parameters that need to be optimized to run a, a per two cell screen. You have the cells uh, per uh, 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 sgRNA coverage. In order to get a reliable uh, transcriptome picture for one sgRNA, you need to uh, pull the single cell, the, the transcriptomes for, from, from several cells, like hundreds or thousands. At this, uh, at, at this point, we still didn't know what was the minimum number of cells that you, uh, that you needed to, uh, uh, to use. If you were talking about a, 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 a standard uh, CRISPR uh, uh, screening, uh, there uh, the, uh, the accepted number of cells uh, uh, that you would use would be 500 or, ton, or 1,000 cells per sgRNA. So let's think that, let's assume that we are using a small library, only 1,000 sgRNAs at this point, so we would, uh, we would have uh, about 1 million cells. These 1 million cells, if you now have to load it in, into uh, the, uh, the Chromium machine, uh, uh, and uh, you are using, the, say, the Chromium controller that can uh, uh, they can accept up to 15,000 uh, uh, cells per reaction, but actually they, uh, uh, they caution against that you should be a little lower so that you don't get double cell encapsulations. Then would mean that this 100, with these 1 million cells, you need 100 reactions. So that's a crazy amount of reactions for just one sample. And then let's just look also at sequencing depth. Again, if we are if you, in a, in a, in a standard CRISPR uh, uh, genetic screening, uh, you uh, uh, usually you want uh, about 500 or 1,000 reads per sgRNA. But 
in, in a per sec, you are not counting the GRNAs. You are detecting the GRNAs, and then you are counting the messengers associated with sgRNA. Now, each sgRNA is associated here with the full uh, transcriptome. So what you have here that for each sgRNA, you have to reliably count 20,000, uh, the, uh, the, the, the abundance of 20,000 different transcripts if you're looking only at coding, uh, uh, coding genes. So if you do a little bit of, and, and you say that you want 1,000 reads per messenger because you want to be able to detect also the very low abundant messages, this is it. If you do the math, 1,000 times 20,000 times 1,000, you have 20 billion reads per sample, which is a lot of money. So uh, what we set up, uh, to discover, uh, in, uh, to, to find out in, 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 the, in the experiment that I'm, I'm talking about today is like the minimum number of cells at this step, the maximum number of cells that you can load per reaction at this step, and then the minimum amount of reads that you need per SGRNA in the library to, to, uh, to, uh, to get uh, reliable data. In order to do that, we decided to uh, run a perturbed screen in a very well-defined and known system that is the transcriptional response to TNF-alpha treatment. This is because uh, then we can build a library in which we have uh, uh, like uh, well-known effectors, our positive controls, that are these four genes that are here in the, in the, in the pathway. Then we added a, a weak effector to see what is the limit of detection or the sensitivity of, of this technology, and then a few uh, uh, irrelevant genes and uh, sgRNA targeting introns or non-targeting sgRNAs as negative controls. And uh, uh, so this is like the, uh, the, uh, the schematic of the, of the screen that we ran. So you, uh, and, and we, we decided to run variations of the perturbed screen and also in parallel the uh, array screen. One is GRNA, uh, instead of using a pool library, we use single sgRNAs. Each sgRNA goes in a, in a, uh, in a separate well. Uh, and, and, and then, and then all the, each journey is, is going to be analyzed one by one. Let's call this like the array screen, the old-fashioned way. And this is important because we want to see that the, the results that we get in the, with the per set technology are comparable to, what we, uh, to, the, the, to the standard way of, 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 of running the screens. And the screen is, is is straightforward. You uh, transduce cells with sgRNAs, uh, pooled or, or single sgRNAs. You uh, wait, we wait uh, 10 days to make sure that all the knockouts are introduced in the cells, and then we split each sample in two, in, in, in two samples, treated and untreated with TNF-alpha. At that point, after that, we build the, the, the transcriptomes, we run NGS, RNA-seq, and, uh, and, and, and we build the uh, transcriptional uh, profiles for uh, each, each sgRNA. And this is what the, uh, the, the, the data from from this kind of screens can look like. We have the array screen here and, the per, uh, and one variation of the Pertrusec here. And on the axis here, you have all the knockouts uh, in duplicate. Uh, you have, uh, 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 purple is treated with NF alpha and, and yellow is untreated. And here, uh, uh, here uh, on, the, on, on the Y, we have uh, uh, SG, uh, genes that they were either uh, 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 very highly upregulated up, up in red or uh, uh, downregulated in blue, and uh, w uh, with or without treatment with TNF-alpha. TNF so here, what you see is that you have in the treated cells, you have this, uh, these genes here are all upregulated. So TNF-alpha activate the transcription of these genes, and then, uh, and, and then here, without TNF-alpha, are all downregulated. Uh, what's uh, interesting is, is, is that you can you see here that there are like some treated cells that they don't, they don't have the upregulation. The, 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 uh, these genes are, are blue, they are not red, it means they are very low expressed. And, and 
and if you, if you could read what one of cows are there, you can, so this is, but you have to trust me, is this, is this, is this, this uh, genes, so we could uh, pull out the, uh, what we were expecting, so the, the, the TNF alpha receptor and then these other uh, three genes, uh, when they are knocked out, TN, uh, knocked out TNF, TNF alpha can't uh, 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 transactivate uh, the, the, the target genes. And we have like exactly the same results also with Pertusek. So this is uh, 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 this is good. It means that Pertusek is giving uh, it's working. It's giving the same results that an array screen would give, and it makes sense biologically. It makes sense because these are known genes that that, that are required for uh, for the, the, the TNF transcriptional response. So now, what about the parameters that we wanted to, uh, uh, to optimize? Uh, so as I said, we were going to, uh, uh, or I didn't say maybe, <laughs> we uh, ran uh, the 10x screen uh, 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 with, with few variations. We, uh, we, uh, uh, we uh, Run the, uh, the single cell encapsulation reactions at different amount of cells, 2,000 cells per reaction, 7,500 or 15,000. Then we build transcriptomes from uh, different amount of, of, uh, of total cells per sample, 4,000, 75,000, or 15,000, which, uh, uh, which uh, uh, then translates into 45 cells per, per average sgRNA, 85 cells per average sgRNA, or 170,000 per average sgRNA. And what we find, and what, what we found, that these 45 cells per, per average sgRNA, it's not enough cells to cover uh, uh, the full complexity of the sgRNA libraries. This, this library was made uh, of 88 target in sgRNAs, and we can, and, and with this low amount of cells, we, we recover only about 50%. When we get closer beyond to, uh, to, uh, to 100 uh, cells per sgRNA, we can recover all the sgRNAs. You'll say, oh, this is 87, it's not 88, but the problem here, we know it, it was about the sgRNA. There was one sgRNA that was very, very low represented in the library, so, but so, so uh, above 100 cells per sgRNA is, is a good, uh, uh, is a good uh, number of cells, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to be able to uh, co uh, compile the full transcriptomes for all these journeys that are in your uh, pool library. Then, uh, what about the number of NGS reads that we need uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, the, to, to reliably detect uh, all the transcripts associated with one S journeys? The, the, to, to get this number, it was quite easy. So what we did, we just like uh, uh, started like uh, sequencing with uh, with increasing amount of reads and what uh, in, in in the three different experiments. And what we saw is that if we get less than one million read per uh, 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 sgRNA in the library, the uh, the uh, uh, the the ranger the next ranger software uh, like gives you uh, like a, a a warning or a failed it means that that, that, that it is not detecting enough uh, uh, messengers to uh, uh, to be confident that the, 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 the transcription uh, phenotype that it's giving you it's it, it, it's accurate. When you go uh, uh, 1.5 million or more, like it's uh, uh, it, 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 it's good data. So 1.5 million NGS per sgRNA is what you need. So if you have a, a, a 1,000 sgRNA library, you know that you need, you need 1.5 billion reads, not 20 million reads. 20 billion reads, which is good news. And then the last parameter was uh, how many cells can I load in a TNX reaction? The more cells that I can load, the, the less TNX reaction uh, I need uh, 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 for my experiment. To do that, we just compare like the results of uh, the 2,000 cells per reaction, 7,500 or 15,000 cells per reaction, looking at the, uh, uh, the transcriptional activation of uh, interleukin 32, which is a target of, uh, uh, of, of TNF-alpha. In these four uh, graphs, uh, we, uh, we look 
and, uh, uh, and the, uh, it, this is a log scale of, of, of the interleukin 32 expression. This, the, the, the black bar here is the level of uh, induction of, of, of interleukin 32 in uh, cells that, that are not target, that they are not, not uh, they, are, they aren't knocked out, so say, let's call them wild type cells. And here we see that you have uh, in, 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 in each of these conditions, we can always see that the four uh, essential gene for TNF alpha uh, 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 cascade uh, show a reduced uh, 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 induction of, of interleukin 32. So this is telling us that we can go up to 15,000 cells per reaction and still there is no uh, degradation of the system of the, of, of the, of, of the, of, of, yeah, the, there is no degradation uh, uh, of the signal due to uh, double cell encapsulation. And then there is another uh, observ interesting observation is that it w with, like with the PERTUR-SEC, we can also detect some effect of uh, TAB1 that, was, that is like the, uh, the, the, the weak effector, which we can detect with, uh, with the ray screen. And also in the array screen, we have one negative control. This is, this is why it's a journey that is targeting an irrelevant intron that showed highly positive. And this is, uh, this is a false positive. And, which, and we don't have this kind of false positive for, uh, in PERTURSEC. So this leads to the conclusions. Uh, and the conclusions are that per sex shows more sensitivity than the array screen and also less noise because we don't have like the uh, we, we didn't we didn't see any uh, false positives. Uh, 100 cells per sgRNA it's uh, uh, it's enough cells to uh, 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 to uh, to cover the full complexity of, of a library. So. Uh, it, how many cells do you need to run your experiments? You just do 100 times the complexity of the library, and that's what, what you need. Uh, we can load 15,000 cells per reaction, and this is for the chromium controller. If you are using the new, the, the new chromium, the chromium X, you should be able to, get, to, to use at least 30,000 or, uh, or more per reaction. And then uh, at, at NGS, uh, how many reads do you, you need? You just go 1.5 million times the complexity of, uh, of your library. And, uh, and this is the thank you slides. These are all the people I selected that contributed to the work. Nadia Isjanko is here today, and uh, the rest are still in Mountain View, California. Thank you. Oh, I